Hello Gemini, Sun and Rising. So Mars is transiting through Cancer on September 4th and will remain there until April 18th, 2025. It enters its pre-retrograde shadow in Cancer on October 4th. So with Mars transiting your second house of finances and values, you will feel a surge of energy directed towards your material possessions and financial security. This is a great time to take bold steps in managing your resources, whether that's budgeting, investing, or seeking new income streams. However, be wary of impulsive spending. Focus on aligning your financial decisions with your core values. Then on September 11, Mercury in Virgo sextile Mars in Cancer. Mercury governs the first house of self and the fourth house of home and family. So Mars rules the sixth house of work and health and the eleventh house of friendships and aspirations. This sextile aspect enhances your ability to express yourself clearly and take decisive action regarding your home and family life. This might be an ideal period for home improvements or family discussions. Your relationships with co-workers and friends are also likely to be more dynamic and supportive. And then on September 15, Mars square the nodes of the moon. So for Gemini rising, Mars squaring the nodes touches upon the matters of higher education, travel, and philosophical beliefs. And this transit might stimulate a crisis of faith or compel you to defend your ideas and beliefs more vigorously. And legal matters or disputes over ethical principles could also arise, demanding a careful and a balanced approach. So use this time to deepen your understanding and possibly seek new perspectives that can enrich your worldview and support your growth. And uh, what else? Uh, so, and then on September 29, Mars trines Saturn in Pisces. So for you, Mars in your 10th house, trine Saturn in your 10th house. Uh, this places a strong focus on your career and public image. And this transit can boost your professional ambitions, giving you the energy and discipline to achieve long-term career goals. It's also a very favorable, favorable time to take on leadership roles or to work diligently towards a promotion. Your efforts are likely to be noticed and rewarded. Provided, of course, if you maintain a steady and responsible approach. So it's a time to confront challenges with courage and reassess your path and realign with your true purpose. And this is ultimately leading to greater self-awareness and transformation. So that's all I have for you, Geminis. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoy this reading, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps our channel grow. Thank you so much and I'll see you again. Bye!